In this video, we will discuss about top 30 SAP basis interview questions and answers. What are the work processes in SAP? Dialogue work process, it is used for interactive tasks in the system. Update work process, it is used to update the transaction in the database. Engview work process, it is used to handling the lock entries in the system. Background work process, it is used to execute the background jobs. Spool work process, it is used to output documents to printer or email or fax. What is client copy in SAP and what are the methods in client copy? Client copy is used to transfer the client-specific data within the same system or between different systems. Client copy methods are Number 1. Local client copy. This method is used to copy client within the same system. It is done using SCCL transaction code. Number 2. Remote client copy. This method is used to copy client between different systems. It is done using SCC9 transaction code. Number 3. Client import or export. This method is used to copy client between different systems. It is done using SCC8 T code. What are the transaction codes related to transport management system? STMS is for transport management system. SE09 Transport Organizer. SE10 Transport Organizer. SE03 Transport Organizer Tool. SE01 Transport Organizer Extended. What is Consolidation Route and Delivery Route? Consolidation Route This is the route between Development System and Quality System. Delivery route, this is the route between quality system and production system. This route contains source and target system. Delivery route is used to transport into several systems. What are the profiles available for client copy? SAP underscore role, all client specific data without change documents. SAP underscore PPL, customizing an application data without change documents. SAP underscore cost, customizing. SAP underscore cost, customizing without authorization profiles and roles. SAP underscore PROF, only authorization profiles and roles. SAP underscore UCAS, customizing and user master records. SAP underscore user, user master records and authorization profiles. What are the transport log return codes? Return code 0, which means import successfully completed. Return code 4, which means import ended with warnings. Return code 8, which means import ended with errors. Return code 12, which means import is cancelled. What are the standard clients in SAP? SAP comes with three standard clients, 000, 001 and 066. 000 contains a simple organization structure of a test company. It includes standard settings and configurations. 001 is a copy of 000. If this client is configured, its settings are client dependent. It is reserved for the activities of preparing a system for the production environment. 066 is reserved for SAP access to its customers' systems to perform the early watch service. What is the purpose of the dispatcher process? The SAP Dispatcher is the control program which manages the resources of the R by 3 applications. The main tasks of the dispatcher process are Balanced assignment of the transaction load to the work process Buffer management in main memory 
Connection with the presentation layer and organization of the communication process. What is Message Server? Message Server is a service used by the different application servers to exchange data and internal messages. It is also a part of the ABAP Server Central Service instance. Only one message server can run in each SAP system. Message server is used to perform the below tasks. Central communication channel between the individual application servers. Load distribution of logons using subgui and RFC with logon groups and information point for the web dispatcher and the application servers. SMMS transaction code is used to monitor the message server. What are the transport request types? Workbench request. This request contains cross-client changes. Examples are changes made to the repository objects of a BAP workbench. Customizing request. This request contains client-specific changes. Examples are SPRO changes. How to start and stop SAP system at OS level? To start SAP system at operating system level, log on to OS level using SID ADM account and execute start SAP command. To stop the SAP system, execute stop SAP command with SID ADM account. What are the servers in SAP? The SAP R3 system consists of three types of servers. This is also called as three system landscape. Database server, it contains the database engine and associated processes. The database layer contains the database system used by all servers. Application server, it contains the SAP kernel which can run a BAP programs. It consists of dispatcher and group of work process. Presentation Server Presentation Server is used to display the SAP user interface. What is Profile and what type of profiles are available in SAP R3 system? Profile is an operating system files which contains parameters and configuration information of an instance. The profiles are stored in the directory USRSAPSID sys profile. Profile maintenance can be done using RZ10 transaction code. There are three types of profiles available in the SAP system. Start profile, it defines which are three services to start. Default profile, it acts as a common configuration of profile values for instances. Instance profile, it contains the parameter values specific to instance. The parameter list can be viewed using the reports are SPRM or RSPFPR. What are the processes include in starting and stopping of SAP R3 system? Starting and stopping of SAP system involves starting and stopping of database and all the processes configured to run in all the application servers. The type and number of processes are defined in the start profile and instance profiles. Below are some important processes which include in starting and stopping the system, the operating system and on network performance collectors, the central system log collection process, the CPIC gateway server, the message server, the dispatcher processes, the spool processes, the dialogue and background processes. What are the advantages in configuring the logon groups? Below are the advantages. Load balancing. If an application server goes down, users can still connect to the group, which will assign the best application server. Setting groups of related applications makes a better use of the instance buffers and shared memory. What are the transport routes in transport management system? 
The transport routes are used for defining the different routes that exist between two systems within the same system group. There are two types of transport routes. Consolidation route, it is a link between the integration, development, system and consolidation, quality assurance, system. Every consolidation route is assigned to a transport layer. Delivery route, it is a link between the consolidation, quality assurance, system and production system. The delivery routes are not assigned to transport layer. What is the purpose of SAP Solution Manager? SAP Solution Manager is used as a central system for administrative tasks. It is also used in the areas of change management and business process monitoring. Solution Manager collects the information of System Landscape from System Landscape Directory, SLD. Work centers are used to execute the functions such as periodic admin tasks, documenting the activities, reporting functions, etc. in SAP Solution Manager. What is Transport Layer in Transport Management System? A transport layer is used for grouping all the development objects that will always use the same transport routes within the same development system. Transport layers are assigned to all the objects that come from a specified development system. What is three system landscape? Three system landscape consists of development system, quality system, and production system. The development system contains the customizing client, the quality assurance system contains the quality assurance client, and the production system contains the production client. Customizing client is used for making changes to customizing data and repository objects. Quality assurance client contains the changes that are transported from customizing client. All the changes are tested and transported to production if tests are successful. Production client contains the live data. Additional client can also be set up based on the requirement. For example, prototype, sand, in development system and training client, TRNG, in quality system. What are development objects? Development object is any object developed within the SAP system. Workbench organizer records and controls changes to development objects. Development objects includes below. A BAP dictionary objects, tables, data elements. A BAP programs, function modules, menus and screens. What are ABAP and Java-based instances? ABAP and Java-based instances are consists of ABAP and Java-based processes. The central instance of an ABAP and Java-based system consists of an ABAP central instance process and a Java central instance process. Below are the processes which affects whenever the central instance restart occurs of an ABAP and Java-based system. All Java server processes. Java Dispatcher All ABAP work processes ABAP Dispatcher ABAP Message Server Software Deployment Manager, SDM Internet Communication Manager, ICM The Gateway What is Change Task and Change Request? Change task contains the list of objects created or modified by user. Change request contains the objects that needs to be transported and information on the purpose of the transport, transport type, transport category, and the target system. Change request contains one or more change tasks. A number is automatically assigned when the change request is created manually or automatically. The format of the number is SIDK number. There are two request categories. SYST, this contains a BAP development objects and general customizing objects for all clients. CUST, this contains customizing objects specific to client.
What is the use of TP Transport Control Program? Transport Control Program TP is used by the administrators for performing transports between the systems and also it is used in upgrades. This program is used for importing the transport requests. It can also be used for exports, but export process is automatic. The TP program uses other special programs like R3 Trans. The TP program is located in the USRS APS IDEXE run. The TP program uses parameter phi called TP param which is located in USRS AP Trans directory. How to delete a client in SAP R3 system? Number 1. Log on to the client to be deleted. Number 2. Choose Administration, System Administration, Administration, Client Admin, Special Functions, Delete Client. Number 3. You can also specify whether you want to delete the client from the Client Administration, T000. Number 4. Set up the parallel process parameters. Number 5. Start the deletion. What is the use of R3 Trans program? R3 Trans program is a R3 transport program which is used to transport data between R3 systems. It is also used for the migration between different SAP releases. R3 Trans program is usually called from other programs like TP, Transport Control Program, and R3R, Upgrade Control Program. What is SPAU and SPDD? SPAU is a transaction code used to adjust development objects such as programs, function modules. SPDD is used to adjust modifications to a BAP dictionary objects during upgrades. What is the sequence to follow while setting up the operation modes? Creating operation modes. Assigning to the instances. Distribute work processes. Maintain timetable. How to do transports between the systems? Transports can be done via STMS underscore import transaction code in application level. Transports can be done from operating system level using TP command. What is the sequence of a start process of SAP system? Starting central services instance. Starting the database. Starting the central instance. Starting the dialog instance. The sequence of stop process is opposite to the start process. What is the sys directory contains in SAP system? Sys directory contains three subdirectories, global, profile, and exe. Global directory contains global data. Profile directory contains default, start, and instance profiles. Exe directory contains kernel files. Thank you for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe for more content.